is this thing on straight? Nope. Hey, what's up you guys? It's Michelle. I don't even know where to start this video. I really need to start filming more regularly so that I don't feel like I always have 8,000 things to say. But today I do have 8,000 things to say, so if you guys don't like talking, you probably won't like this video. This is some barbecue sauce. Also, I have a story time for this video. You guys love hearing about my bad dates. And I just recently re-downloaded Tinder and I had my first Tinder date in over a year. So I'm gonna be telling you guys about that in this video. I left the date super irritated and I'm gonna tell you guys about it. Today I am eating the, I don't know if these are new, I've never seen them until very recently, but these are the Doritos Loaded Cool Ranch popper things. I did a video trying out the jalapeno nacho cheese ones and I really like them so I thought I would try these. I have some onion rings. These are Red Robin brand like frozen onion rings and then I also have some new ranch to try. I don't think that's focusing. I feel like I've literally tried every single ranch in the grocery store and none of them ever taste as good as the ranch at restaurants that you get. So if you guys have any recommendations for a ranch that's store-bought that doesn't suck, leave me a comment down below because I I love ranch. A lot of people don't like to admit that they like ranch because it's kind of like bad for you and I guess considered like really junky, but I love ranch. Ah. One of my roommates texted me and told me that he accidentally like burned and melted my sriracha bottle on the oven or on the stove. I guess he left it too close to the heat or something. So I don't have any sriracha. So I have these little packets of sriracha that I keep for emergencies, but this isn't even like the actual real sriracha brand. So I'm sad. I have to go buy some more sriracha. This is not enough for me, but it'll do. Is this recording? Oh my God. Okay, Fiji water is the best bottled water. Who agrees? Who disagrees? Oh, it's so nice and soft on your mouth. <laughs> if you disagree, leave this channel and never come back. I'm gonna eat a little bit before I start with my story because I know, I don't know, I don't know if you guys watch for the story, if you guys watch for the, the eating. So I'm just gonna eat a little bit before I start talking. Nice shades of fried brown health. So, Let's get started on these, Cool Ranch. You guys, I'm a fraud, because I actually filmed this video last week. This same exact video, same exact food and everything. So I've actually technically tried these before. I actually could not upload the video that I did last week, because I did a story time about someone that I realized I probably shouldn't have told. I was kind of already unsure if I should upload it. And then I started having some errors with the files on my computer, the video files. So I was like, you know what? I feel like this is a sign that I'm not supposed to be uploading this video. And I was already unsure. It was someone that I met in Palm Springs that has been like harassing me for the last month. And I thought it was all over, and then he recently did something, so I told the story about it, but then I was realizing that I probably shouldn't give this guy the satisfaction of talking about him for like 20 minutes in a video. So I decided to scrap the video, and now I'm redoing it. So this is technically my second time trying these. This sriracha tastes really bad. <laughs> it's definitely not the same as the green bottle. good they're just really freaking salty i think i prefer the jalapeno ones i'm gonna dip it in ranch no i feel like restaurant ranch is always like really strong and sour this is kind of like sweet tasting no me gusta that crunch though. I don't really watch eating videos for the sounds, but I really do like the sound of really crunchy food. Mmm. 
These are like super, super salty and these are not salty at all. So it's actually like a good combo. A lot of you guys said that you tried the nacho cheese ones and you didn't like them. I really like them. Like I have kind of like trashy taste. So maybe that's why I like them so much. And I love like fried appetizer stuff. Like jalapeno poppers, onion rings, french fries, stuff like this. I'll eat one more and then I'll get into my story. I'm trying to train myself to eat faster. I've been really into watching um, Divine Munchies is her YouTube channel. She eats so fast and so much food. If you guys really like to just watch someone like wolf down a lot of food, definitely check out her channel. I'm like amazed. I really wish I could eat that fast. Okay, so I'm gonna get into my story time now. My first Tinder date in over a year. Oh, Jesus. I'm like really not into Tinder because it really stresses me out. People on there just wanna meet really, really, really fast, which I totally understand. There's no point in like texting back and forth for weeks, but If you match with like 10 people and they're all trying to meet within the next week, it's really stressful, at least for me, I don't know. And especially like, I really don't like going on first dates very much. I just think they're so formal. All the small talk is the same every time. I just really don't like them. And I just recently re-downloaded it because one of my friends, she just got out of a really long relationship and she's been going on like five Tinder and Bumble dates a week. She's been so open to meeting anyone. She will go on a date with someone that she's exchanged like two messages with. And I'm not like that at all. I'm super, super picky with who I choose to meet on these things. I've had Tinder on and off for like four years now, over four years, and I've only met four people from it. So I'm just like really picky with it. I was just inspired by her being so open-minded to meet new people. So I re-downloaded it and I planned a date with this guy within like two days of me re-downloading the app. Oh my God, so salty. <laughs> Y'all, I forgot to do a thumbnail. My food is like half gone. No, it's not. My food is like 5% gone. So I match with this dude on Tinder. Like the first day that I downloaded the app, his profile I think said he was 35 or 36, which is so weird. The last three people that I've met from Tinder have all been like 35 or 36. And I have a very open age range. I don't know why, I don't know, coincidence I guess. But we meet at this mall called the Americana. It's this really nice mall. It has a lot of bars and restaurants and stuff in it. Normally when I'm meeting someone for the first time, I always wait in my car and just wait for them to be there before me or wait for them to like text me and say that they're showing up and then I'll go in. But I never normally go into a restaurant or a bar by myself. But this time I was like, you know what? I'm a grown ass lady. I can sit at this bar by myself. So I go in and he had told me that he was on the way and he also only lived like 10 minutes from there. So I was expecting him to show up like any minute, so I went into the bar to wait for him. This dude did not show up for literally like 45 minutes. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed because I was sitting at the bar. It was a weekday night. 
So the bar is like kind of empty. And I was sitting there for 45 minutes by myself. I'm normally not embarrassed with that sort of thing. Like I go to places by myself all the time. I've gone to restaurants by myself, but I had told the bartender that I was waiting for someone. So as the minutes passed by, I think he totally thought that I was being stood up. There are a few other people sitting at the bar and I could tell that they kept looking over at me. Like I kept making eye contact with them. There's two bartenders and they both kept checking up on me. I mean, like, are you sure? Like, is everything okay? Do you want to drink on the house? <laughs> I was like, no, 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 I'm waiting for someone. And the guy that I was meeting with kept texting me and saying that he was like nearby. I actually started to think that I was getting stood up because everyone around me was making me so uncomfortable. <laughs> Like, I think everyone felt bad for me. Finally, the dude shows up. And we start talking. And right away, this is definitely not his fault. And this is not something that he could control, obviously. But he looked exactly like these two other guys that I know. He looked exactly like this other Tinder guy that I've met before. Named Jeff. Shout out, Jeff. And also... He had the same exact mannerisms and way of talking as this really, really annoying guy that I don't like. It's actually this YouTuber. I've never even met him before, but I've watched his videos. And I don't really like him. And this guy that I met sounded and talked just like him. And he also looked just like this other guy, Jeff, that I know. So I was getting so distracted, especially like as I started getting a little more drunk when I start getting a little tipsy it's very hard for me to focus on stuff so there are multiple times where I found myself not paying attention to what this guy was saying because I was thinking of these two other guys in my head <laughs> I felt so bad the date was actually not that bad he was like very nice and very easy to talk to but but I found out that he was married pretty much his entire 20s then he divorced in his early 30s and I don't know, it, it kind of felt to me like he was looking for his next wife. He was asking me questions about very like long-term plans and like, I don't know, just stuff that I don't normally get asked on a first date. You know when someone kind of, they don't like the answers that you're giving them? They kind of do a like, hmm, okay. That's what he was doing for like every answer that I gave to him. <laughs> I could just tell that he did not like my answers to his questions. <laughs> so right away I was thinking like this dude does not like me at all. We have nothing in common. Just like even like little things like he was saying he just moved to LA for work. And that he doesn't like it. He'd rather live in kind of like a countryside which I grew up in the countryside. I don't ever think I want to move back to a countryside. So that was another big like thing that didn't match up. And like, I don't know, he's he's like, obviously he's a little bit older and he's at the age where a lot of people are married and have kids. So I totally understand why that was important to him. But it just clearly was not, not a match with us. <laughs> anyway, like I said, he was really cool and easy to talk to. His job had to do with internet stuff so I actually had a really good time talking to him and everything but yeah it just wasn't a good match and then here's where I got pissed y'all and it doesn't even have to do with this guy but we said bye like I said we were at this mall called the Americana which next to this mall called the Americana there's another mall called the Galleria Pretty much, unless you get valet, like it's pretty much every single parking structure is free parking, completely open. You don't have to get a ticket to pay or anything like that. Well, sometimes parking garages are kind of annoying to get into because you have people driving really slow, waiting for other people to get out of the spots. Sometimes you have to go up like to freaking five or six levels before you find a spot. I was about to get into one of the parking structures, one of the free ones, but I found a parking meter right outside of the entrance of the parking structure. But the whole meter is like dark and there's no lights flashing at all. So immediately I'm like, oh, the parking meter's turned off, perfect. I can park here for free and I don't have to go up like six levels in the parking garage. No, bitch. These freaking parking meters in Glendale around that area, they do not have lights in them. They basically have this like, I'm gonna show. I literally took footage of this because I was so pissed. They have like a little 
sign or something inside of the meter that like pops up. It's not illuminated at all. Literally every single parking meter in LA has a freaking bright light in it that you can see it. So anyway, I got a freaking parking ticket from the city of Glendale Parking Enforcement Center. <laughs> I was so irritated. It's like a $50 ticket. So I literally had to pay $50 to go on this like not successful Tinder date. I've literally not gotten a parking ticket in like five years because there's the only way you get a parking ticket is if you literally can't read and comprehend words. Like it's not that hard to avoid getting a ticket. But I didn't even bother looking at the sign because I obviously assumed, oh, the parking meter's turned off. There's no lights on. No. I feel like I should sue the city of Glendale. I mean, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna pay the $50 and be bitter about it, but I feel like that's shady. Like you're gonna change up the way that parking meters are everywhere. Anyways, date aftermath. I definitely felt like we were not on the same page with anything. And I could tell the answers I was giving. He was giving me the like, mm, okay like sure he was giving me those kind of answers like I for sure thought he did not like me but the next day the very next day in the morning I got a text from him saying hey do you want to hang out tonight so I was like what the hell I did not think our date went well at all so instead of ghosting I decided to be a mature person and I texted him and I told him that we obviously don't have anything in common, so I don't really want to hang out again. I worded it very nicely, but that's basically what I said. And he actually responded and was super cool and super nice and was like, yeah, I think you're right. Have a nice day. It was nice meeting you. But yeah, I actually don't mind at all dating someone, even if I know it's not serious and know it's not going to go anywhere. Like, I've dated people before where from the very first date I was like, this person is not someone I would ever seriously date. And I'll still date them and like go out with them for a little bit if they're fun and cool, but this guy, I think, yeah, he was just a little too, just looking for a little bit more than what I'm currently looking for. But he was super, super nice. So it wasn't, it wasn't a bad experience other than getting the freaking parking ticket. I've not been on Tinder or swiped anyone since meeting him, but maybe I'll go back on, I don't know. First dates are really awful, so. <laughs> Guess what guys, I'm getting full. I get a lot fuller faster when I'm telling a story. So I think I'm gonna start doing some videos where I do less talking. More just like. Cause I can eat a lot. It's just when I tell stories, I'm just like gasping for air. So I feel like I just get full really fast. <laughs> Does that make any sense? Probably not. Anyways, I have a lot of videos planned for you guys. I'm so excited to get back into filming and I want to start taking my YouTube uploading schedule more seriously because I definitely have kind of half-assed everything about my YouTube channel since I started it. And I'm so glad so many of you guys watch and enjoy, but I want to start taking it a little bit more seriously. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for watching if you made it this far. I love you guys. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter if you want to talk with me. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!